Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. Guys, it's never a dull moment in crypto, that is for sure. That is why I love giving daily market updates. We have news about Ripple and XRP, one of the biggest banks in the United States. Bank of America wants to use XRP after the lawsuit. No brainer. We have updates in relation to Sam Bankman Freed and his parents using a lot of money to buy up real estate in the Bahamas. Of course they did. Anyway, President Biden and the G20 summit want crypto regulation. There's just so much stuff happening around at the moment. I'm going to go through everything. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Let's get straight into it, ladies and gentlemen. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I've now hit 46,000 subscribers. That is incredible. Thank you so much. I couldn't have done this without every single one of you watching every day. So thank you. Really, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Um, obviously, guys, let's get straight into it now. If you are new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. We are just getting started. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through. It would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolutely magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that all right so give it a good old thumbs up it doesn't cost you anything it's down there it's free thank you very much i'll wait thank you you guys rock um also a little disclaimer i am not a financial advisor please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff i do not want to see anyone get financially hurt that is why my number one golden rule is i only invest what i can afford to lose and yes we don't like to lose you can lose money like that in the blink of an eye in crypto all right so please be careful out there do your own research and due diligence this video is for education or entertainment purposes only also just another formality ladies and gentlemen get your cryptos into cold storage get a trezor get a ledger get an alipol alipal alipol whatever you want to call it if you can't afford any of those get yourself a trust wallet that way your cryptos are at least off the exchange right and that's number one that is very important during these crazy times we have exchanges going broke all over the place people are losing money from block fire like even i did it's just ridiculous so we, we need to prevent that from happening Right, so please be careful with your cryptos. Now, that is the formalities right out of the way. Let's go to the community tab. We have Coinbase. Uh, obviously, Coin CEO says that the exchange holds 2 million Bitcoin valued at $39.9 billion. That is just unbelievable. That is a lot of Bitcoin. Uh, that is a lot of Bitcoin. All right, so I don't even think Michael Saylor comes close to that. I think he has like 100,000 or something like that. But uh, wow, 2 million Bitcoin is a lot. Unbelievable. Anyway, these were the altcoins up in my portfolio. We had Ravain, Axie Infinity, Near Protocol, Telcoin, and Lunk. Luna Classic. I hate that name, Lunk. Anyway, they were the ones up in my portfolio. Let's go to CoinSpot quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this is where I personally buy my cryptos in Australia. There is a referral link below. Please feel free to use that, of course. If you do, you will get $10 in Bitcoin. Do your own research and due diligence, of course. Now, personally, I'm only keeping the coins that I'm staking on the platform. CoinSpot. Everything else is in cold storage. Straight up, I'm being completely honest and transparent about it. If I'm not staking a coins and basically I'm prepared to lose those if all SHIT hits the fan, there you go. So please make your own decision whether or not you want to keep them on the exchange here on CoinSpot and basically any other exchange. But anyway, I'm going to go through the prices quickly and I'm going to go to the news because that's very important. There's so much to get through. Let's go through the prices. My favorite assets, Bitcoin, 25,000 Australian dollars up nearly 3.6% today or just nearly 37 we have Ethereum at 4.88% to $1,700. You've got XRP up 5%, 58 cents. Still cheap, in my opinion. Honestly, uh, it is. We will never see these prices again. That is why I document these prices on my channel every day because I'll look back at them one day and I'll be able to go, wow, look at these prices. Anyway, and I get so much hate about it. I don't know why. Stop it. Be nice. Anyway, uh, Cardano's at 49 cents. You've got Matic at $1.33. Solana's up 10% to $20. That's nice. Uh, we have XLM at 13 cents. You've got Algorand at 37 cents. Nier is at $2.54. Holy wow. I was buy I was going to buy that at $14. Lucky I didn't. But again, I might throw some money in if this drops any lower because I'm bullish on Nier Protocol. VChain, 
Two cents. Quant is 172. This thing does not want to drop below $100 again. It's just remaining very bullish. Anyway, Hedera is at seven cents. We have moving down Theta a dollar thirty-five. We have Axie Infinity up eight percent to ten dollars as well. I am staking that on CoinSpot. We have IOTA at thirty-four cents. Uh, Neo's at ten dollars. FTT still, guys, up five point four three percent. I would not be buying that at all. Stay away from it. There's so much happening with that. Uh, we have Casper up four point eight nine percent today to four cents, and XDC at three cents, which is nice. Again, Reef, I'm very bullish on, up 6% today. That's nice. I've seen some pretty crazy price predictions about that. And no, I'm not paid by any of these freaking companies. Just making that very clear. Uh, and I would never do that. We have XYO up 5.21% as well. Uh, and of course, Alliance Block, ALBT. Again, another one that's up nearly 6% today to $0.06. Cents. Now, let's go to Crypto Bubbles. And before I do, ladies and gentlemen, I do have the Wall Street Bull Patreon linked below. I put up all my buys, my sells, some news, uh, my dividend stock investments, you know, demonstrating what I'm doing there. Like I've just put one up last night in there. So it's incredibly bullish. Join up in the community. It is for serious investors only. I, I'm, I mean that. Um, it's not a Discord where there's like 10 or 20,000 people trying to talk at once and you can literally never read anything. That's why I hate it. I'm um, just saying it's really annoying. But uh, it's the Wall Street Bulls links below. You will not regret it. Join up. All right. I'm calling all the serious investors. Now, let's go to crypto bubbles. On the day, we have Curb Dow up 34% on the day. That is ridiculous. Still trading at 64 cents. I'm not invested in that. We have Litecoin as well, 28% on the day, $79 US. Uh, what else? We've got Solana's up 11% as well, $12. Mm. I'm waiting for this one to come back up. I mean, look at the price that it was trading at $231. Cannot really complain about that. And there's a lot happening with it. Yes, I had major fallout from FTX and Sam Bankman-Fried. Um, you know, what do I say, guys? I've been wanting to buy that for a long time. But we'll see what happens. Helium's up as well, 11%. Um, so had you have bought yesterday when the market was in the red, you'd be up like 20, if not 30%, 10%. This is, you know, you can do that by day trading. And, uh, you know, some people like to do that. Anyway, I still think this is cheap. And I do get a lot of comments about this as well. Do you think it's a good time to enter? Look, I can't give financial advice, but I'm just going to say something. Me personally, I was buying this, you know, all of these assets during the mate, you know, the bull run, before the bull run, during the bull run, and after the bull run. So, I mean, my assets are down still about 70 to 80%. So, let that one sink in. All right. So, People that are entering the market now, in my opinion, it's a great time because these assets will skyrocket. It will. Just give it time and have some patience. Now, let's move to the news. This is interesting right here. Ripple CTO explains how crypto millionaires will be made. And uh, it's very interesting. So, well, obviously, XRP is closer to beginning Crypto News Digest. So, let's have a quick look at this, all right? So, you have the CTO. David Schwartz. Anyway, let's have a read of this. So former US congressional candidate and crypto influencer David Gostein right here uh, has taken to Twitter to share his opinion on what the market is going to see in the new year, in the new, near future. According to him, in the next few months, millionaires will be made. Exactly. Ripple CTO David Schwartz has responded to uh, Gokstein, forgive me if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, I don't really care, I, whatever, uh, tweet the black irony saying that, th that these millionaires will be made out of billionaires. This appears to be a possible scenario considering Bitcoin's recent nosedive below 16,000 US dollars level for the first time since early 2020 following the collapse of FTX that severely damaged the cryptocurrency market which is really interesting as well. So XRP is closer to beginning. US producer E. Smitty predicts, which is interesting. But the US re record producer Eric Fernerud right here, again, another one I can't pronounce. Sorry if I'm butchering that. Uh, also known as E. Smitty, I like that one, has recently addressed XRP enthusiasts on his Twitter page saying that the Ripple affiliated token is closer to its beginning than its end. Facts. Previously, he predicted that XRP price would not only hit $1,000 USD, but would reach five digits. This comes as Ripple continues the expansion in the world of, and currently working on scaling into the EU market. They're trying to get a license, mind you. Uh, despite the market watchers saying that there are more collapses ahead of following the FTX collapse. Additionally, Ripple also reported ODL expansions into nearly 40 payout markets around the world or nearly 90% of the FX market, which is foreign exchange. I just don't understand how people can't get their head around XRP and Ripple. 
Another bullish update on Ripple. I know I talk about it a lot on this channel because I love the finance world. It's like a drug. Honestly, it is. I'm addicted to it, just like I'm addicted to caffeine. As everyone knows, I love my coffee and Red Bull. Anyway, but the SEC has not actually labeled XRP as security, nor does it have the power to do so. Will the price hit $5? Uh, again, I think it's going to be a lot higher than that. But Ripple Council said that the only uh, the court can decide whether XRP is a security or not. Ripple CTO David Schwartz also shared an important lesson that investors need to learn from the FTX collapse. So Stuart Alderotti has once again come up in defense of the blockchain startup while responding to New York Times article inside Crypto Nemesis campaign to reign in the industry. Despite there being no conclusion in, on the SEC vs. Ripple case yet, the New Times, or New York Times, I believe that is, um, obviously said that the crypto firm has been changed from offering unregistered securities by the SEC. Charge, sorry. Uh, the article notes a federal judge is expected to rule in the coming months in a lawsuit brought by the SEC, Gensler's Goon Squad, uh, that charges the cryptocurrency issuer Ripple with offering unregistered securities. Responding to this, the Ripple General Counsel stated, to be clear, the SEC hasn't labeled XRP as a security, nor does it have the power to do so. One judge puts it this way, the SEC can only ask the question and the court ultimately answers absolute facts all right so don't listen to mainstream media just do not listen to them anyway again i'm not going to go into this but i just want to point out this bullish article right here and yes it's on the daily hodl but bank of america to partner with ripple for odl services after the xrp lawsuit finishes so bank of america is reportedly waiting for the end of the us sec court case against ripple to join forces with a san francisco based payments company ripple at Ripple Swell 2022 in London, Ripple Lab CEO Brad Garlinghouse Legend reportedly told Link2 to director of member sales Nick Burafato right here, right here, uh, that Bank of America is waiting for the court case to settle before using Ripple's on-demand liquidity ODL products. I mean, you can just imagine what's coming, guys, uh, when this lawsuit ends. It's going to be absolutely wild. Can't wait for it. Anyway, Shiba Inu. Uh, adds over 50,000 new holders during crypto market route, which is interesting. So the meme-inspired cryptocurrency Shiba Inu has added 50,000 new holders on the blockchain, even amid the cryptocurrency market route triggered by the collapse of the gain of FTX. Screwed up the whole freaking industry. Good one, Sam. Uh, according to the data on CoinMarketCap and Etherscan, the number of unique addresses holding Shiba Inu on the blockchain has grown from around 1.2 million a month aged uh, ago to over 1 point or point sorry, 0.128 million, which is crazy. At the same time of writing, the figures show Sheeb has been adding well over 1,500 new holders per day. I've been holding my Shiba Inu for a very long time. I got in well before all the craziness happened with Vitalik. Um, obviously, that, you know, when the whole Elon Musk thing pumped as well, um, and the gifting from Vitalik to, I believe it was India during the pandemic. So, you know, again, I'm still up on my Shiba Inu, and I can't blame it. I can't, sorry, I can't believe it, to be quite honest with you, is what I'm trying to say. So uh, nothing wrong with Shiba Inu. I think that the supply is being burnt as well. We'll see where that happens, all right? I put a, took a gamble on it, and it's paid off, in, in, in my opinion. Now, this is interesting. So President Biden and the other G20 leaders call for new international, international crypto regulatory regime. Interesting. So Joe Biden and other heads of states from the obviously the G20 are calling for international regulation on cryptocurrencies. According to the G20 statement issued by the White House, the leaders of 20 of the largest economies in the world agreed at a recent summit in Indonesia that there is a need to advance regulations in the crypto space. It is critical to build public awareness of risks to strengthen regulatory outcomes and to support a level playing field while harnessing the benefits of innovation. I agree with the bottom part and I agree in relation to the level playing field and I agree with, you know, regulatory clarity um, because again, once that happens, we will see a massive inflow of institutional money and that's what we want because ultimately that's where the money is going to be and that's where it's going to flow from institutions. Now, look at this. So Elon Musk comments on what truly made FTX fail. Whew. Let's have a look at this guys, if it wants to go down here. So Elon Musk, yeah, um, this is definitely not the reason why it failed. So no doubt it lost confidence in Sam Bank Freed given the circumstances of the FTX collapse with at least $1 billion of customer funds disappearing from the collapsed crypto exchange, according to Reuters report. But the Tesla CEO believes that it was not the reason it failed. 
which is really interesting as well. So what did he basically say here? I need to find it, guys. Sorry about this. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, let's have a look here. So Ripple CTO David Schwartz and MicroStrategy Chairman Michael Saylor joined in the conversation. According to Ripple CTO, FTX was a ticking time bomb that only failed slightly faster than it could have. Michael Saylor believes the reason FTX failed was the same reason customer funds vanished from the exchange. Well, that's true. So crypto market participants have accused Bankman Freed of fraud and flagrant right here, mismanagement of funds. His exchange reportedly utilized customers' funds to execute risky trades. And uh, it's going to be very interesting what Elon Musk said. I can't remember what uh, what he put up here, but he, he obviously is deep in with this stuff, guys, because uh, there was something going on with conversations with uh, Sam actually investing into Twitter. So Elon Musk knows what he's talking about here and knows basically BS when he sees it. Now, this is interesting. Coin Market Cap launches proof of reserve tracker for crypto exchanges. And I like this. So the tool allows users to monitor exchanges reserves through displays of total assets and public wallet addresses, along with the balance and value of the wallets displayed, which is really good. I think that is needed. And I think that's really good that CZ has, CZ has uh, implemented this. We have some updates in relation to this hedge fund manager, Bill Ackman reverses his stance on crypto after years of skepticism. Now, let's have a look at the here, guys. So, billionaire investor, and sorry about all these stupid pop-ups, Bill Ackman has taken a completely different stance on crypto after being skeptical on the space for years. Ackman, the founder and chief executive of hedge fund uh, Pershing Square Capital Management, says crypto's ability to facilitate fraud initially drove his skepticism of the digital assets. I was initially a crypto skeptic, but after studying some of the more interesting crypto projects, probably Ripple and uh, all the other ones there, guys, I've come to believe that crypto can enable the formation of a useful, useful businesses and technologies that here to, heretofore uh, could not be created. Uh, and the ability to issue a token to incentivize participants in a venture is a powerful lever in accessing a global workforce to advance a project. The billionaire does note that the pump and dump scams are a problem in the crypto space, and I agree, and suggests that the vast majority of digital assets are being used for fraudulent purposes. I agree. I think the only real coins that are being used, guys, are you know, the banking coins, really, when you think about it. And that's truth. Now, let's go to CryptoMeter.io. Let's see where the money has been flowing. XRP, which is nice. We've got uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin, of course. Link, I did buy that the other day. Shiba Inu, Lunk. Lunk, I hate that name. Doge, ADA, which is nice. I do like ADA. And that is pretty much it. Now, let's go to Twitter because there is a very interesting um, video that I want to play you guys. I think it's on CNBC. Now, when I hit 100,000 subs on YouTube, I will be giving away this ring to some lucky follower around the world, all right? So uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Kathy Woods from ARK Invest, thank you, usual unusual whale, stands by her estimate that Bitcoin would top $1 million per coin by 2030. She knows what she's doing, man, that's for sure. Tom Emma, I believe is a US Senator right here. Uh, let me just double check that. Let me have a look here, guys. He's uh, a Congressman. There you go. Politician in the United States, basically. So FTX collapse is not a crypto failure. It's a failure with CFI, Gary Gensler, and Sam Bankman Free. Decentralization is the point. Uh, watch below. Have a listen to this. Free. Take a listen. Let me be your risk manager. Mm -hmm. I'll clear it to make sure it's done properly. He says, well, you won't deploy my model. I said, your model is crap. Why would I deploy a model that's going to introduce risk to the system? He turned me down, flat out turned me down. And that's right away I said to him, I said, you know what, you're a fraud. You're an absolute fraud. I went to Congress. I've never seen a Washington, D.C., like I saw at that time, from the regulators to the members of Congress, singing hymns that I never heard before. He said that you could lose 85 to 90 percent of your value overnight. And I said, he will not commit to keeping this just a crypto. I said, the reason is because he wants to deploy it across all asset classes. I said, that is a biblical disaster if you people allow this to happen. I guess the question, Congressman, is why did you people allow this to happen? <laughs> well, we did not. And Terry is a good friend. He does a great job at CME. He's one of the good guys in the marketplace. And uh, it's interesting because we've had a good relationship for the last couple of years. You can ask Terry, my office has been heavily involved in this area, as you know, Charles. Uh, for more than just the last couple of years. We've been heavily involved since I came to Congress uh, several years ago. 
Uh, Terry never said that directly to me, but I'll tell you what. Uh, Terry is one of the good guys, and when he goes to Sam Bankman Freed and he offers him tens of millions in customer accounts and returns for managing his risk, and Sam Bankman Freed turns him down, he's got the right to mm -hmm. have the red flags go up. This this literally is not just a failure of FTX; it's a failure of uh, CFI that's uh, known as centralized finance. It is not a failure of crypto. This is a failure of. Uh, it's a failure of Sam Bankman Freed. It's a failure of business ethics, and it's a failure of the uh, government oversight and regulatory uh, yeah. uh, procedures. Yeah, and I wanted to bring that up because you've always been a champion of technology, the role that it's played in the prosperity of Americans. And you've been a very strong critic of Gary Gensler. You've urged accountability. Uh, what's going on there? Why? I mean, what's wh why? What do you think? What are they telling you about the uh, the inability to add clarification to this issue, making it worse? We've Listen got major these. questions, Charles. I mean, look, uh, Gary Gensler and the SEC, uh, apparently they had meetings last March with uh, Sam Bankman-Fried and executives from uh, FTX and a uh, trading firm here in the U.S. And they were working, uh, apparently, uh, with Sam Bankman-Fried and others to give them special treatment from the SEC uh, that others aren't getting. Uh, and they uh, announced a partnership with this trading firm last April. We kept trying to find out what exactly the partnership is all about. Uh, we didn't get those answers. Mm -hmm. And obviously, Sam Bagman fried then was pushing special uh, treatment legislation through Congress. And when it was finally revealed what it was and the, uh, the industry actually started raising red flags all over the place, that's when this thing came apart. And it's uh, really a failure, it appears, of Gary Gensler to actually deal with the, uh, the bad guys. You gotta ask yourself, Charles, where was he uh, on Celsius? Where was he on Voyager? Where was he on Terra Luna? And now, where, where was Gary Gensler on, uh, on FTX? Yeah. This is exactly what he's supposed to be doing. And Terry was talking about that. What is the regulator responsible for this doing, going after good actors in the community and working backroom deals, it appears, with people who are doing nefarious things? Representative, we got less than a minute to go, about 30 seconds. Um, uh, Sam? Tom Emma, man, big fan, like straight up, Mr. Congressman. Anyway, I, I just can't believe that. I mean, this is coming from a U.S. congressman right here. Gary Gensler doing back de backdoor deals with Sam Magnet Free. Come the F on. What? <sighs> I hope this all comes out in this freaking lawsuit. I hope Judge Torres and Judge Nepburn rip Gary Gensler a new behind. I really do. I really do. He has it coming for him because he's been doing some shady shit. All right. I'm sorry to swear. Apologies, but I needed to do it because it's very frustrating. Kathy Woods, again, invest bought $63 million of Coinbase, Silvergate, and GBTC. Shares since November. She knows what's going on. Mark Zuckerberg, Meta, is reportedly set to resign next year. <laughs> Whatever. I don't really care. They charge too much for advertising. Please. Uh, I'm not going to go into the library, but Genesis Global Capital has hired investment bank Mollus, Mollus Investments. I know them from Australia, from my other businesses, but uh, to explore options, including bankruptcy, that is not good. Genesis has $2.8 billion in outstanding loans, and the fear and greed index is sitting at 23 right now. And I did tweet out last night, uh, some pretty. that's a pretty funny song as well. Go and listen to it. I'm not going to play it because I'll probably get banned, but uh, Sam Bankman fried's parents, right? Uh, which is scary stuff, ended up buying a lot of real estate in the Bahamas. Here we go. Uh, now, let me... I, I tweeted this out last night. I do I do apologize if I can't find it. But uh, they were buying up millions and millions of dollars of real estate in the Bahamas. Now, it just goes to show where do they get the money to do that? That's people's money. All of those assets should really be sold, to be quite honest, right? So I can't find the tweet. I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, here we go. Sam Bankman's Freed's parents purchased 19 properties worth $121 million in the Bahamas over the past two years. They're not stupid, man. They're both compliance lawyers, to be quite honest with you, and they know how to hide money. I know that for sure. But guys, those assets are going to be seized because it obviously all came from Sam Bankman Freed. Anyway, that's it for Twitter. I'm fired, about, I'm fired up about Gensler. My top gainers today, Telcoin, Ravain, Veracity, Ubix, Solana, Holochain, Lunk, Acro, Hero. But guys, where the real money is going to be at, at, at by institutions are these ones right here. All right. So Ethereum, of course. XRP, no brainer. ADA, AVAX, Link, XLM, Algorand, Quant, Hedera, 
IOTA, XDC, Casper, and Alliance Block. That is where the money's going. That is where my money's going. It's not financial advice. But, you know, when you look at the bigger picture here, and also the QFS, new financial system, the PDF that I received from my bank manager, I'm not going to release it because I don't want to get in trouble. But guys, this is all happening. The quantum financial system is happening. I don't care what anyone says. This is happening. And there is a chart here with XRP. Look at this, all right? So Ripple, one-to-one -to, -one to gold, Stellar, Silver, XDCs, Copper, Algorand, uh, we have Palladium, IOTA is going to be Iridium, don't ask me why. We have ISO 222, we have SWIFT, we have BIS, the World Economic Forum, the World Bank. It's just crazy. It's a no-brainer. Anyway, throwing that back on my other desk. But thank you very much for sticking around. I know it's a long video. We had to play that whole interview with Tom Emma because I'm incredibly bullish on what he said. Gary Gensler needs to be held accountable to all of this, really, when you think about it. Anyway, thank you very much. Make sure you join the Patreon page below. I will speak to everyone directly in there. It's just a lot easier. I do apologize about all the spam and bot comments in these videos. I try to remove them as fast as I can, but they're just out of control. So YouTube, if you're listening to this, please fix the problem. That is it. Follow me on all socials. I'll speak to you tomorrow, all right? Peace out, guys. Bye.